everybody, Gert Lo from Cape Town and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to focus on what the over 40 and older guy over 50 and so on can do to grow muscles, to force muscle growth. The problem is that many over 40 guys pretty much gives up on uh, trying to look after their body simply because it's much, much more difficult than in comparison to when they were 20 years old. They just put on much easier fat. They just built much more difficult muscles. So many over 40 guys end up drinking the beer, sitting on the couch, smoking, doing nothing, just watching sport the whole day. And that's even making the whole situation that much more worse. Now, the big problem is that, yeah, our over 40 guys, we have less testosterone, less human growth hormone, and that compounds the problem into that we really struggle to build muscle and we struggle to lose fat. But it's far from impossible for the over 40 guy to make this happen. It's far from impossible. Um, I'm 55 this year in two, three months time. I've got my best shape in my life after the age of 40. In fact, uh, I would say 50, 51, 52, that was my best shape so far in my life. Uh, and I'm, this year I'm going for another run and to see how far I can push the limits. Guys, it's really possible. Uh, I'm going to take you through the steps. Uh, I've put 10 steps here together on uh, what you must do as an over 40 guy to force muscle growth. Let's start. Number one, absolutely nothing is going to happen if your blood testosterone is too low. You need to go for a test at the urologist or a sports doctor. They must pull your blood and you need to get to know what your blood testosterone levels are. Unless your blood testosterone levels is in the upper regions of normal, you're not going to grow. Uh, if it's in the lower regions of normal or below normal, you're going to struggle to grow and you're going to struggle to lose fat. doesn't matter what you're doing. You're going to work your ass off. You're going to get nowhere. So this is the number one step. You need to verify where your blood testosterone levels are. And if it's not correct, your blood testosterone levels, I've done a very nice video on this subject, how you can naturally get your blood testosterone levels up. So I'm going to put the link for you up on the screen now and uh, just check out that video to get this point sorted. Point number two, beer, alcohol, wine, liquor, all these things. Guys, I don't know how to put this to you. This is one of the key aspects why guys over 40 is struggling to lose fat and sitting with his protruding stomach, stomachs. Now, you're not going to get rid of this if you don't drastically curb your alcohol intake. Now, if I talk about drastically curbing it, I'm telling you that you allowed once a week the equivalent alcohol of about 500 milliliters of wine, red wine. And at that meal, you're not allowed to eat any carbs, only protein and salads. Without dropping your alcohol, there is no way that you're going to get success in getting a muscled, great looking body after the age of 40. And it's even more difficult when you pass 50 and even more difficult when you pass 60. So alcohol is a big killer for a great body for the guy over 40. Number three, a diet determines 80% of your success in creating a great looking body. So you have to follow a focused diet to produce the results that you want. Now, this is not as easy as it sounds because it's not just about the diet. It's about the diet, but then aligning it to your body. You can't just follow the diet. It's not going to work if you don't align, align it to your body. Each of us have got unique uh, metabolic rates, our bodies. It's the same diet for the same weight age people is not going to work the same because each of us are unique. Uh, we need to take that diet and we need to align it to our body. Now, what do I mean if I say align it? That means every 14 days you need to go through a process of weighing yourself on a scale using fat calipers to measure certain key areas on your body to determine your body fat. 
and then you need uh, a measuring tape to measure all the key areas on your body. Now, all these three measurements that you take, you would interpret that, and then you would determine whether you've lost fat, or you lost muscle, or you gained fat, or you gained muscle, or whatever result you had after the 14 days. Depending on that result, you then have to adjust your diet either upwards with 10% or downwards with 10% in the daily calories. Until you get to this point that you've hit your target, you've lost fat, but you haven't lost any muscle. And that is like your sweet spot. But even if you are in that sweet spot environment, you still have to do every 14 days this uh, body monitoring and adjusting of diet uh, because anytime your body can go out of this sweet spot zone if you're over 40 and you do not follow a strict eating regime and align it every 14 days specifically to your goals and your body there's just no way that you're going to get success point four now, as a result of your inactivity over many 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 years sitting on that couch your muscle mass has actually slowly going down and down and down so the amount of muscle mass that you currently got is quite low now the problem is that the only thing that gives shape to a body great shape to a body is your muscles nothing else so it doesn't help you to lose a lot of fat if you lose a lot of fat and you don't have muscles you're definitely not going to look great not in close and definitely not out of close now the question is what type of exercises do you need to do to grow muscles a lot of guys when they think about you know transforming their body the first thing that pops in their mind is uh, doing cardio now i'm not against cardio please guys i know cardio is extremely healthy it's probably going to lengthen your life <laughs> eventually if you start doing cardio so it's a great exercise but one thing you need to realize is that cardio is a muscle killer now it doesn't i don't care what anybody tells you the only way you can get around this fact is if you do anabolic steroids if you're going to be natural you must be very wary of cardio even moderate cardio but especially intense cardio, you're probably going to decrease your muscle size or going to find it extremely difficult to, to build muscle. What exercise you need to do as an over 40 person to have a great body, you need to do resistance training. Very little cardio and you need to focus on hardcore, intense, to the point of muscle failure resistance training. To the point of muscle failure. That is the key. Because that starts the spark that I need to build muscle because I can't cope with my training. Via the diet, you then feed the body to actually grow. Nothing's going to happen if you just spark it with the exercise. If you don't feed it with a correct diet, nothing's going to happen. You need to do the two together. But that spark is initiated by intense muscle failure training. And that is what you need to focus on when you're over 40. Point five. Now, so far, everything sounds fairly doable, but there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind as an over 40 guy, especially as an over 40 guy, uh, that can very easily derail your whole transformation plan that you have for your body. Let's go through this. The first one is stress. Now, especially because uh, over 40 guys are, you know, they've got serious jobs most of the times and... Um, the stress levels are quite high. Now, when the stress levels are very high continuously, you're going to release a lot of cortisol in your body. Uh, the more cortisol your body releases, the worse it's going to be for your muscle building efforts. You might even decrease your muscle size if you release too much cortisol. Cortisol very easily lets your body go into a catabolic environment. It, it breaks down muscle and you find it going to find it very difficult to build muscle so your number one thing you need to do is to bring down your daily stress levels you need to find ways one fantastic way is to go work out intensely and jump because that is where you can get rid of a lot of your stress the second one here is sleep you cannot expect to grow if you don't get enough sleep in as an over 40 person to help your body to repair Pair the damage that's been done during your training also help your body to grow that all happens during sleep if you get only like four five six hours sleep a night in um, that's going to limit this process or maybe even stop it dead in your tracks you need to get at least eight hours sleep in at night i know it sounds a lot but 
that's the bottom line. If you want to build a great body and you're over 40, you need eight hours sleep a night. Okay, that's it. It's actually been proven that enough sleep, eight hours sleep uh, at night, helps you to also increase your blood testosterone levels. When you have less than, let's say, six hours sleep a night, there's, I think there's something like a 25% drop in your blood testosterone levels and gradually it's getting worse, uh, depending on how little you sleep. And then the last one here is water. You need to take in enough water. I'm talking about three liters of water during the day. Your body needs to metabolize your fat to break down. This is not going to happen if you drink just one or two or three glasses of water a day. You need to get enough water in to help your body get rid of the fat, to, to help your kidneys function correctly, just to help your body functioning correctly. As a 40 year old, you need to put everything in place to create the environment for your body to function optimally so that it can respond to muscle growth. Right, let's get back to point six. The over 40 guy needs a very focused supplement stack. Forget all the crap advertising out there. I mean, guys, most of it is lies. Not, sorry, most. 99% of it is lies. Uh, fake photos or people that they bought to lie for them, you know, and put their face or body on the, on the advertising. Um, my before and after photo has been stolen more than 100 times now by advertising companies and products. And, uh, it's very difficult to mail these guys through legal channels. Uh, so just don't listen to any advertising claim. Bodybuilding supplements is one of the most shadiest businesses on the planet. You only want to stick to the core supplements that's been proven with the necessary science backup to actually make a difference. Let's quickly go through them. This is caffeine. Caffeine you can use before workout. It helps you with mental focus and actually work out hard and, and actually also help you to burn fat. Creatine. Creatine is probably the most powerful natural supplement this side of steroids. It's got a lot of science behind it. It's been proven it really works. You have to take grape juice with it, otherwise it's not going to be absorbed correctly. Creatine is actually also shown to slightly increase your blood testosterone levels. Whey protein, you do that straight after training. L-glutamine, you do that just before training and straight after training, five grams at a time. L-glutamine, it helps with the body healing and repairing itself and it's good for a lot of other things. Right, point seven your health what you must remember if your health is not right nothing's going to happen with you trying to transform your body if you're continuously sick and you're off gym so regularly that nothing is really happening because your body doesn't get time to really build itself up then uh, you're going to crash completely so you need to make this a core principle to ensure that your health is very very good this means you need to get enough sun in during the day you can't just be in an office dark environment the whole day and whole night your body needs vitamin d it's one of the critical vitamins uh, for for good health and uh, so make sure you get out in the sun uh, at least let's say 30 minutes a day to activate the vitamin d in your body you must take a potent multivitamin it's just the basis to make sure that your body is covered from every angle regarding vitamins and minerals three you need to make sure that you get your omega-3 and your omega-6 in and then i also recommend a strong antioxidant something like ophelopoic acid or coenzyme q10 Point eight, warm up and cool down. Again, now we're over 40, so um, injuries is going to be much more prevalent to us. Uh, we're not that flexible, we're not young. Uh, our muscles and bodies just breaks much more easily. So you need to make sure that you warm up well before you train, get some nice cool down stretches and also do some stretches while you're training. After every set I do my stretches for the muscle that I've just trained. You need to start out with your training slowly and gradually, step by step. Don't think you can go and jump off the cliff and play with the big boys. All you're going to do is going to hurt yourself severely. It's one of the biggest hassles for over 40 guys is to try and stay injury free. You're gonna have much more tendon problems, much more joint problems and the likes. So you need to be wise about this. Point nine, at the core of my teaching for the over 40 person to transform his body is the fact that I strongly believe you cannot just transform the outside of the body. You need simultaneously to transform the character, your soul and change yourself 
from the inside. It needs to be a whole transformation. Basically, you need to make right with God on every level of your life. You need to become a man of integrity, a kind man, a caring man. You need to change so that when people walk away from you every time, they think, wow, I've got the respect for this guy. This is the person you need to become. Plus, you need to transform your body. That will be a natural outflow when you're doing such a total holistic body and soul transformation. You don't just want to be a better looking jerk. There's enough better looking jerks out there. We don't need more of them. You need to be a better looking man with integrity. Then it's not just superficial anymore, but it actually makes a hell of a difference in not just your life, but everybody else's lives that you touch around you. Right, point number 10. Use the power of your mind to force your muscles to grow. Okay, now this might sound a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. Many bodybuilders, including me, believe that by having a mind-muscle connection while training and visualizing the whole time while you're lifting that weight, visualizing on this muscle, feel this muscle contracting and visualize how you want this muscle to look eventually and develop. You're doing all your exercises this way. And you create a very focused mind-muscle connection and visualizing with every rep that you do how you want this muscle to be developed and how you want this muscle to look eventually. I'm telling you, working out like that is going to make one hell of a difference. And many guys believe that that is the key to develop a great looking body. So to all my over 40 and over 50 and over 60, 70 friends out there, and followers, this is the key 10 concepts that you need to put in place to force that muscles to grow. Now, of course, all of this form parts of my advanced system too, which is the coaching system that I've developed for the over 40 and older guy. It's a complete blueprint, uh, customized specifically to your body and your goals. And uh, it's a system I fo I'm following myself for the past 14 years. So if you're interested, I'm going to put the link for you up and you can have a look at uh, that link. And there's also where you can sign up. So everybody, Gertler from Cape Town signing off. Wish you some great training. Cheers.